It's September, the sun is shining, the birds are singing. We are in one of London's premier hotels. And over there are 150 of the finest chefs, bar managers, owners, restaurateurs, food suppliers, food growers. They're all here for the 2014 Time and Leisure Food and Drink Awards. Food and drink are emotive issues. They stir up passions, both good and bad. And maybe that's why, for the fourth year running, you have voted in more numbers for more restaurants, more bars, more pubs, more cafes, more food suppliers, more wineries. More of everything than ever before. In 2014, you voted over 9,000 times. These are the biggest awards yet. And now we can go and find out who you voted for in the crucial 12 categories. And the winner, and I'm very pleased to award this to Aya Lebanese Cuisine Wimbledon. And the winner is Maple Road Farmers Market Surbiton. The winner is the Foresters in Hampton Wood. Antilop in Subberton. Pride and True Cafe in Putney. Congratulations. Canizaro House Wimbledon. Tried and True Cafe Putney. Hemingway's Lounge Bar in Wimbledon Village. Bar 366, Clapham. The winner is uh, Lathwaite's Wine Surbiton. Surbiton again. The winner is the Nuns Means Restaurant. And the restaurant owner here, Canizaro House. So that concludes the 2014 Time and Leisure Food and Drink Awards. After six months of voting, over 9,000 votes, it boils down to 60 awards given out here today to restaurants, bars, food suppliers, everything from across our areas in southwest London and into Surrey. So thank you for all your votes. It's made a huge, huge difference to many people here today. And there at the end, we had Antonio Carluccio giving the big one, the Restaurant of the Year Award to Canazaro House. Well, if you want to make a difference for next year, you can start voting from March. Then you can nominate the restaurant that you want to win any one of those 12 categories. So start thinking, start dining, start drinking, and we'll see you next year. Thank you.